and welcome to this week's episode of War Games Geek. So this week I'm painting another Barbarian from the uh, small range of Barbarian figures that I bought recently. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to sort of paint them all up. I'm going to have a small um, Barbarian village uh, and I'll um, do a video for that in the coming weeks. And uh, just give them some terrain to sort of fight over. So this is the, as I say, this is the second one, this chap with a horned helmet. And to start off with, what I've done is I've primed him with the Army Painter Barbarian Flesh Colour. And he's another big one, he's a, he's a heroic scale, so a, a nice big figure for me to be able to see to paint properly. So what I'm doing then is I'm starting off painting the horns on the helmet, and for that I'm using uh, Army Painter paints. And this one is Mummy Robes, that sort of ivory look that I'm going for on the uh, on these horns on the helmet there. So that's the first one now done and I'm just going to go in and do the um, horn on the right side of his helmet and just taking my time there. I've not got an awful lot of paint on the brush just a, a couple of thin coats is better than one thick one. Um, so and then I'm going to come around just uh, going over the top of the other side there just to give you an idea of how I'm doing that. Trying not to get my thumbs too much in the way of the camera. So the horns are now done and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint in the rest of the helmet here and for that I'm using plate mail metal and uh, you know, not, I like these um, metallic colours, I think I've probably mentioned it before um, but I do like how the metallic paints uh, go on. They're a little bit thinner so you do need a couple of coats of them uh, but they do look really nice uh, nice when they're, when they're finished. So just taking my time there, try not to get onto the skin areas that I've already painted with the uh, primer and um, just taking my time over that sort of uh, area covering the nose. So going ahead then, that's the helmet done. That's had a couple of coats of paint. Uh, so start to take shape. The next thing I'm going to do, as I've got the plate mail metal uh, paint out already, I'm going to use it to paint in the uh, sword as well. So just taking my time there, just around that little edge. And as I say, this will definitely need a couple of coats and you'll probably see that. Um, as the paint goes on that it, it's uh, a bit thinner that one um, so it's coming down the other side of the of the sh uh, sword and just taking my time getting that all painted in nicely try not to go over any edges uh, where about wherever I can so we need to the the back side of the sword as well the blade of the sword here and just filling in that sort of triangular bit there and then just getting the rest of the the uh, blade painted in so that's uh, the sword. We need to make sure we do the edge on this one. It's not uh, that sharp. So just need to make sure we paint along that edge as well, both sides um, on the blade. So just get that all painted in as well. Turning it over and doing the other side as I just mentioned. So there we are. That's the first coat of paint uh, on the blade of the sword. So I've gone ahead again and I've done two coats now on that. So two thin coats of paint. And uh, I'm really pleased with the uh, sort of how that's starting to take shape now. So now turning the figure around, then he's got this sort of hair that comes out the back of the uh, helmet. And with that, what I'm doing is I'm using desert yellow and just getting that hair painted in. So just taking my time there, especially around the areas where it uh, touches now the helmet uh, on one side and the skin on the other. So trying to avoid going on to the uh, areas that have already been painted where we can. But as I say, if we make a mistake, then we'll just have to repaint it again. I've mentioned previously that the uh, undercoat primer sprays that you can get from the Army Painter, they're all 100% um, match for the bottled paints. So if we do make a mistake and we need to go back over any of the skin area, we can do that because the paint is 100% match. So I'm now going in and doing the fur on this uh, sort of loincloth. And for that, what I'm using is ash grey. Uh, just making sure we get into all the little recesses here. So this is um, the fur comes out really quite nice. Um, but you have to make sure that you do cover it properly. So I'm using a, a fairly small brush, and I'm just making sure that any of these sort of deep recesses on the fur all get a bit of paint on them as well, so that we're not uh, going to end up with a sort of partially pink uh, fur loincloth. Uh, we want it to look like a loincloth, not like something's poking out where it shouldn't be, if you know what I mean. So, so moving on then, I'm just doing the top part of that um, loincloth as well, uh, leaving a gap in the middle where there's a belt. 
So that's starting to look rather smart. And then we'll turn him around and we'll do the backside of the of this fur area as well. So let's get that painted in. As I say, make sure you go into all the recesses. So on the back here, he's got a couple of little belts. He's got a sort of dagger on the on his hip, and then he's got some sort of little bags that look like probably money bags or something like that. I'm also painting in the tops of the boots there in fur as well. Uh, so just taking my time and again making sure I don't go over the edges there. So I'm just going to sort of dot those in just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, which areas I'm going to paint up. So just moving on then slightly. The, all the fur areas are now painted in. Uh, we've done the tops of the boots the, and the sort of loincloth front and back as well. So he's already starting to look pretty decent. Um, what I'm going to do next then is I'm coming in, I'm going to paint the rest of the boots in. And for the boots, I'm using leather brown. So he's got these leather boots on, so I think that's probably the ideal colour there for that. So just taking my time again, just making sure I don't go over any edges, try not to bodge if we can help it. Um, and get these uh, these boots painted in. So again, it'll probably need a couple of coats um, just to go over that pink and make sure that none of that's uh, left showing through. And there we are, so that's both boots now painted. So I'll just show you the other side. So not a massive amount left to do. We've got the shield to paint in, uh, we've got the uh, handle of the sword, and we've got those couple of bits around his waist. So not a massive amount to do. So on the inside of the shield then, what I'm doing is, it's actually, uh, the detail on that looks like sort of wood planks. So what I'm doing there is I'm using Monster Brown, uh, and that, you can just about see what I'm talking about there, where that colour, uh, sorry, where that um, pattern uh, is on the back of the shield. I'm trying to get my thumb out of the way, and I'm going to end up bodging it if I'm not careful. <laughs> so uh, that's the inside of the shield where the straps are. And then I'm painting the straps in now over the top. And for that, yep, yeah, that's looking all right. I'm just going to make sure that's okay. And for that, I'm using the colour Dark Stone. So it's a, a very, very dark brown, almost black, like a sort of charcoal colour. So that's that done. And what I've done is I've gotten back to the plate mail metal and just dotted on the sort of nails that hold on the, the straps on the inside of the arm there. You can just about see those. So two at the top and two at the bottom of the uh, the sort of handles of the shield on the inside. So next up then, let's just show you what I'm doing. So next up what I'm doing is I'm painting in, again I'm using a little bit of leather brown to paint in this necklace. So I've got a little necklace that's going on there. So a little bit of uh, leather brown for this leather sort of strap that's around his neck. Just making sure very carefully, I'm using a fine detail brush on this just making sure that I don't get anything on the skin so that's the necklace painted in and then he's got these kind of little bits hanging off of it look like bits of bone and I don't know where they're previous victims if you like um, so what I'm doing just gonna finish that off what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna show you around the figure and then we'll move on to painting in these sort of bits that are sticking out. And for that I've gone again, I've gone back to the um, uh, skeleton bone. And just being really careful here not to get any paint on the skin area uh, that uh, we've already previously painted. So I'm going to take my time here and uh, just make sure those bits are very carefully just getting that paint on. I can just about see that with my my eyes and uh, back to the back to the opticians I think so there we are so that's uh, that's him done there all the bits of bone and, and bits hanging off of his necklace all painted in so just zoom in a little bit just to get a bit closer the other thing I've got to do is I've got this little bandagey bit on his arm it could be a bangle but I'm gonna go in for um, a little bit of uh, mummy robes on that and um, just to get that all painted in place so the other side and uh, it's starting to really sort of take shape now so what's next to do then is we need to get the rest of the sword painted we need to get all that sort of stuff around his waist painted in and then we need to sort of think about some sort of design on the shield um, so some sort of freehand uh, design for that so first of all what I'm doing is I'm going in I'm using greedy gold for the uh, rest of this uh, sword, so the, the sort of 
handle area of the sword and just get that all painted in and the other side there's a little sort of flat bit on the top as well so just make sure we get those painted in and we need to do the sort of bottom sort of pommel of the sword as well and again I'll use the greedy gold for that so before I do that I'm going to just turn it around and paint the back side of the sword there try not to get onto the area that I've already painted in that uh, plate mail metal uh, so that a nice color there the greedy gold very small brush very fine detail brush and uh, just need to get the bottom of the sword uh, painted as well before I do that I'll just finish up here just to get some paint onto that bit there and as I say then we're going to go on and paint the bottom of this bit of the sword so turning them round trying to be as careful as we can making sure we do the underside and then getting that all done there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint in the uh, handle of the sword as well and I've done that using uh, again monster brown uh, so that is now all done and that leaves me these two money bags to paint that are on his uh, hip here. The first one I'm using Goblin Green. Uh, so that's uh, one of the little money bags or a bag of, I don't know, whatever bounty he's got off of his victims. Um, so just taking my time there to get that all painted in. And then underneath there, just avoiding the leg where the skin is, trying not to make any mistakes if I can help it. So that's the first bag painted and then what I'm doing now is with it for the other one I'm using another shade of green which is called scaly hide and I've just gone ahead there so that's the two bags now all painted in so happy with how it's looking a uh, couple of bits left to do then so as I say we've got to do that um, the belts we've got to do the dagger on his hip and then we've got to work out something for the, the front of the shield so back in with uh, leather brown uh, back in to do this leather strap that's going around his waist here just really taking my time now try not to make any bodges if I can help it and coming across the front of the loincloth that sort of fur loincloth he's wearing there excuse the thumb I know he's a bit out of focus hopefully he's yep he's back in focus now and just getting that painted in there that that belt turning the figure around then and we can see where that strap comes across the back there the belt comes across the back so that's that bit now all done I'll just show you the other side of him so that's looking pretty decent and then the last bit then is I'm now painting in whoop, now painting in the uh, dagger and for that I'm just bear with me just a moment while I concentrate on that bit so the handle of the sword or dagger is done in another brown I've, what I've done there is I've mixed a couple of browns together I've gone for a monster brown mix and um, leather brown so that's that done and then what I'm doing is I'm using weapon bronze for the uh, for the sword sheath uh, so that's now being done and a little bit around the handle detail there and then there's the inside of that bit right up close to his leg so I'm just a straight line down there and then there's the bit that goes sort of into the gap. So that's those done. Just going to come around and do the, the top and the bottom of the uh, uh, sword handle. And there he is, all ready to, for me to start um, panicking about what to do with this shield. Uh, so my freehand stuff, I'll just try and keep it as basic as I possibly can. So what I'll do is I'll start off by painting the shield uh, white. Uh, so just a couple of thin coats of white on there, um, nothing too thick, otherwise the, when you start shading it, it just doesn't look great if it's just all lumpy paint. So a couple of thin coats of white paint, so we'll get that done, and then once that's done we'll just give it another coat of white, which is what I've done now, and let, leave that to dry, and again procrastinate about what I'm going to do with this uh, shield design. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to... Um, start painting in some of the quick shade this, at this point you start having a, a bit of a panic attack because you think you've overdone it but just get all this uh, quick shade into all the uh, recesses and you can already see how nice that's starting to starting to look so get the yeah get it into all of the, the all of the recesses you'll start noticing that the um, the abs are starting to pop and the 
fur starts to look really great. So there we are, so that's it, it's really starting to take shape. Now we're starting to get this dip on. And let's get that all done all over the figure. And there we are, so that's that all done. He's now got to dry for a bit. And then once he's dry, I'll show you the finished article. There's the sort of little design I've done on the shield. And there we are, all finished. So that's that one done. Um, he's now been sprayed a couple of times with the uh, matte varnish. And he's had a little base put on him as well, so he's ready for a bit of gaming. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do like, subscribe and share. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop him next to the other chap that I've already painted to give you an idea of what he looks like. So that's two of them now done, ready for a bit of a uh, bit of skirmishing. Uh, so as I say, please do like, subscribe, and share. And as always, thanks for watching.